Hi everyone, I'm Hillary and I was going to demonstrate a Passover recipe. Um, amongst all the craziness we're all going through in the world, I think that it gives me a little kind of normalcy to start thinking about Passover and I love cooking and these are this is a really easy recipe that my kids love. I'm sure most of you have had it, um, but I'm going to show you how I make it. So it's chocolate toffee matzah candy, better known as matzah crack. Um, and I have my ingredients all set up. Um, the first thing you do is I line a sheet pan with tin foil. And then on top of that, I put a piece of parchment paper. Um, the recipe I use says that you should use foil and spray it with nonstick spray, but I prefer to use parchment. So I take my matzah, and break it up in pieces and make it fit in the sheet pan best I can. You can see at the very corner down here where it doesn't really fit. You just kind of break it up and shove pieces in and make it work the best you can because when it's done, you're gonna break it up into pieces anyways. So once your matzah is ready and in your sheet pan, then I have um, two sticks of non-salted butter and I'm gonna take them over to my pot and turn my saucepan on medium-high heat. And I'm going to melt the two sticks of butter. And when they're melted, I'm going to add the brown sugar and stir it until it's bubbling and hot. One cup of brown sugar. Okay, so my butter's all melted, as you can see in the pan. So now I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit to medium high and add my one cup of brown sugar. And I'm going to stir that so that it melts and combines. I'm gonna keep stirring it because you don't want it to burn. And you wanna stir your sugar and butter mixture until it's completely boiling. Um, little bubbles all over, not just around the edges of the pan. Um, because you really want that to combine and caramelize. So as you can see, my um, butter and sugar is really bubbling all over and I've continued to cook it for two to three minutes so that it gets nice and kind of a really golden brown caramel color and I know that it's combined. Um, once you've let it boil for two to three minutes, we're gonna take it off the heat and then add a teaspoon of vanilla. Um, and I did like to do a little dash of salt. Um, and for this part, I'm gonna use Himalayan sea salt, even though the recipe calls for kosher salt. Um, I like to do a little dash of Himalayan salt because you know how salt can actually kind of enhance and bring out the sweetness in things. So there's my salt. And I'm going to do a teaspoon of pure vanilla. I'm going to stir that. And as it sits, it will start to thicken a little bit. So you don't want to wait too long because you need it to be able to spread all over your matzah really well. So now that that's combined, and mine seems kind of thin today, I'm not quite sure why, but let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna take a pot holder, and I'm gonna bring my caramel mixture over to my matzo, and I'm gonna try to evenly pour it all over my matzo. because that's gonna kind of create your caramel. So we have that on. And then I'm gonna quickly use my plastic spatula to kind of spread it and even it out and make sure all of my matzah is nicely covered. Um, and once it's covered, I'm gonna put it in the oven. Um, and I preheated the oven to 400 degrees. So I'm gonna put this in the oven 
and I'm gonna let it bake until it starts to lightly bubble. Um, I'll turn on the light so once we get there, you can see. Um, and the recipe says bake until it's bubbling about five to six minutes. Okay, so now my matzah has been cooking for five to six minutes and it's all caramelized and uh, ready for the next step. So I'm gonna bring it over to my stove just because it's super hot. Um, and now I'm gonna actually let it sit there and cool for five minutes. Um, and when it's done, I'll sprinkle the, so I like to use semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can use milk chocolate, whatever you want. Um, I prefer using the mini semi-sweet chocolate chips because I like dark chocolate and the mini ones just melt quicker and more evenly. So once this cools for five minutes, I'm gonna sprinkle the chocolate chips over and then spread them out nice and as evenly as I can with the, my plastic spatula. And then you could add nuts, you could add, I like to add a little bit of coarse kosher salt because I like salted caramel. Um, but you can be creative and add whatever you want to the top of your matzah. And then you put it in the refrigerator and let it cool for an hour. And then we'll take it out and break it into pieces and I'll show you the finished product. Again, um, the matzo um, caramel chocolate caramel matzo candy is done. I've had it in the refrigerator for an hour to chill. So I'm going to wash my hands good because really the only way to do this is to break it up by hand. Um, you can see that it's a big, hard, uniform blob of yummy deliciousness. Um, and so basically there's no rhyme or reason. You just break it into whatever size pieces you want. Um, and it makes quite a big batch. Um, and not only is it delicious, but it'll stay for quite a while. So I'm sure this won't last in my house until <laughs> Passover, but you can put it in a you know, plastic or glass container with a lid and put it in the refrigerator and it will stay fine for up to two weeks. So, let's see, Hannah, taste. Delicious. Mmm, so good. I have to hide it from myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you all have a great holiday. Happy cooking. Bye. Happy Passover. It's Jolie approved. <laughs>